Hi, everyone. Recently, I had to go for an ultrasound. Fun, fun, fun. It was a pelvic ultrasound. And for this procedure, I had to drink 32 ounces of water in one hour. And I said to myself, how am I going to do this? Because you have to hold the 32 ounces of water in your bladder until the hour is up and until the procedure is up. So I want to give you some tips on how to do this because I developed a process. I went out and I bought this 33.8 fluid ounce bottle of alkali water. Why alkali water? Because it went down so much more smoothly than if I would have drank regular water. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get alkali water. The next thing you want to do is you want to drink eight ounces. Let's say your appointment is at four o'clock. At three o'clock, you want to go to the restroom. You want to pee. You want to drain your bladder. And then at three o'clock, after you use the restroom, then you want to drink eight ounces of alkali water. Then you want to wait 15 minutes and then drink another eight ounces of alkali water. That puts us at 315. Then at 330, you want to drink your third cup of alkali water. And then you want to drive over to your appointment. So I'm assuming that half an hour is more than enough time to get to your appointment. Once you're at the appointment, still holding your pee, at the top of the hour, right before four o'clock is when you want to drink the last eight ounces. Trust me, this process worked for me because by the time I had the procedure done, by the time I had the ultrasound done and the lady said to me, okay, are you ready to eliminate? I was like, yes, I am. But it wasn't to the point that I was bursting and couldn't hold it any longer because of the way I went about drinking it. So if you follow this procedure or this timeline, I think you would do very, very well.